NASA just warned that Oumuamua is on a trajectory to clash with Earth and it isn't stopping. When news broke in 2017 about a mysterious flying object that approached Earth with an unusual orbit, it caused quite a stir. Upon careful examination, scientists determined that this alien probe originated from somewhere between the stars and interstellar space. Now, things have gotten far more deadly, as scientists are raising alarm about the potential impact of this object as it is on its way to Earth. Some theories even speculate that it could be an extraterrestrial battle spacecraft, prompting even more questions. Are aliens trying to spy on us and should we be concerned that an extraterrestrial race might be preparing to destroy or conquer humanity? Let's find out. Do you believe in the existence of alien civilizations? Are they merely occupying a remote part of the universe and completely uninterested in our existence? Think about it, what would alien species look like? While we are evolved primates, it's possible that alien species could be reptilian, insect-like, or even a hybrid of these, or perhaps something completely unique that we couldn't even imagine. The only way to find out what these mysterious beings actually look like is through direct observation, yet regrettably, we were unable to find a means of doing so. Then something strange happened. In 2017, we found a probe from an extraterrestrial civilization. Since then, scientists worldwide have been captivated by this cigar-shaped interstellar object that slingshot around the center of our solar system, coming within approximately 15 million miles of Earth. The appearance of this object was a spectacular surprise, as we didn't anticipate finding something like it in our vicinity. However, now there is evidence suggesting that Oumuamua is heading back to Earth, and it is being propelled by a force originating outside our solar system. Stay tuned as we present new and shocking proof of this, revealing the potentially terrifying reasons Oumuamua will have a direct impact on Earth. But before we begin, let's explore some important context. Since the incident in 2017, scientists, including astronomer A.V.I. Loeb from Harvard University, have developed a keen interest in studying Oumuamua and similar objects. Professor Loeb, who holds a doctorate in plasma physics, has explored the ocean floor in search of signs of extraterrestrial visitation. He has even speculated that Oumuamua could have been a spacecraft from another planet. It's worth noting that scientists on Earth have already launched space probes like Voyager and New Horizons to gather data about space and other planets. In theory, extraterrestrial probes could be similar scientific devices, whether they originate from another planet or our own. However, our scientists lack the expertise required to send a probe into space and bring it back to Earth. This is why astronomers and physicists are working tirelessly to understand how extraterrestrial spacecraft could navigate interstellar space to contact Earth, and how we might intercept their messages once they do. There are two significant obstacles that an extraterrestrial civilization would face if they wanted to send a probe to Earth, distance and time. As an illustration, extraterrestrial probes dispatched from the Andromeda galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor, would have a daunting 2.5 million light-year journey ahead of them. To put that into perspective, a light year is equivalent to 6 trillion miles. If extraterrestrials wished to ensure their probe returned to Earth before their civilization collapsed, they would need to figure out a way to travel faster than the speed of light. Is it possible that they have discovered technologies like theoretical wormholes or warp drives, or perhaps other unknown technologies based on new laws of physics? Even if extraterrestrials were able to overcome the challenge of interstellar travel, there would be other hurdles to face. For instance, they would need to construct probes capable of withstanding the weathering effects of space radiation and debris. Creating innovative materials with enhanced hardness and toughness would be crucial. In general, a material's toughness refers to its energy absorption capacity, while hardness relates to its resistance to deformation. Interestingly, materials that are naturally hard, like diamonds, often lack toughness. Ideally, extraterrestrial engineers would need to develop materials with both high fracture toughness and high hardness to ensure impact resistance during their lengthy voyage. Scientists like Professor Loeb are striving to understand how these spacecraft could navigate interstellar distances and how we might intercept their messages. However, the challenges of distance, time, and materials engineering pose significant obstacles that any extraterrestrial civilization would need to overcome. But in order to be prepared for the impending collision with Earth when Oumuamua returns, let's understand what the object truly is. 
Why is this object called Oumuamua truly strange? What have we so far known about it? In the fall of 2017, a mysteriously shaped object named 1i Oumuamua made its way through the inner solar system, passing close to the sun. What made it significant was the fact that it was the first known object to originate from a solar system other than our own. Astronomers designated it 1i Oumuamua, with the 1i representing the first interstellar object discovered in our solar system. However, it is now commonly referred to as Oumuamua. For quite some time, astronomers had been anticipating the arrival of an interstellar object similar to Oumuamua. NASA's Associate Administrator for Science at the time of Oumuamua's discovery, Thomas Zerbuchen, stated in 2017 that they now had direct evidence of the existence of such interstellar objects. Another interstellar object, 2i Borisov, was discovered in August 2019. Unlike Oumuamua, 2i Borisov appeared to be a typical comet with a tail and coma, the gas and dust surrounding an icy core. Oumuamua stood out due to its lack of a tail and coma, which led astronomers to speculate about its nature. The most prominent hypothesis centered around the sublimation of hydrogen or nitrogen ice from other solar systems. Interstellar objects are propelled into space by the gravitational pull of gas giant planets or through massive collisions that tear protoplanets apart. Being the first known interstellar visitor, Oumuamua provided insights into the nature of other planetary systems outside our own. Additionally, its shape was remarkable. At first glance, it appeared to be ten times longer than its width, resembling a large cylinder. However, subsequent measurements adjusted the dimensions to more accurately depict a pancake-like shape. The minor planet Arakov, which the NASA New Horizons probe passed by on New Year's Day 2019, is one of several similarly shaped objects observed in the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune. The object's brightness, as observed through a light curve, was used to determine the dimensions and shape of Oumuamua. When the wider side of Oumuamua was visible, it appeared brighter. The exact stellar system from which Oumuamua originated remains a mystery. However, in 2018, researchers traced Oumuamua's trajectory back to its original route toward the Sun and discovered that it passed close to four stars, with the red dwarf star HIP 3757 being its closest encounter. It is possible that Oumuamua originated there or that it has been adrift in space for an extended period. Oumuamua's trajectory was hyperbolic, meaning it approached the Sun at such a high speed that its path could only be minimally influenced by the Sun's gravity. As a result, it did not get captured in a looping orbit but rather continued on a trajectory away from our solar system. Oumuamua was not discovered until over a month later on October 19, 2017, when University of Hawaii astronomer Rob Werick spotted it in observations made by the asteroid hunting Panstars system. At that time, Oumuamua was 21 million miles from Earth, and its closest approach brought it within 15 million miles. It has since been moving away from our solar system, propelled by a gravity boost from the Sun. Due to its small size and rapid motion away from Earth, the window of opportunity to observe Oumuamua was short, lasting only a few weeks. The Hubble Space Telescope provided the longest observation period by combining data from two of the world's largest optical telescopes, the Very Large Telescope in Chile and the Gemini South Telescope. However, even with the finest photos, Oumuamua appeared as nothing more than a tiny speck. Currently, Oumuamua is well beyond Neptune's orbit and is heading towards the constellation Pegasus. It is now whizzing through the Kuiper Belt, a ring of frozen objects near the periphery of the solar system. It is no longer visible to our telescopes, and the chances of it returning to Earth are slim. The true nature of Oumuamua remains a matter of speculation. Some have wondered if it could be an alien probe. What we do know is that Oumuamua was an object ejected from a planetary system outside of our solar system when the gravitational forces of roving gas giants pulled it out of its orbit. Prior to the discovery of Oumuamua, astronomers believed that interstellar objects like 2i Borisov would resemble comets. For a long time, it was assumed that Oumuamua was a dormant comet whose volatiles, such as water, had evaporated over billions of years, either in its original system or while passing by other stars. However, Oumuamua's non-gravitational acceleration was detected by the Hubble Space Telescope as it departed from the Sun. 
This acceleration is typically observed in comets due to the outgassing of water vapor and dust, which creates a tail and provides an additional boost. Yet, there was no indication that Oumuamua was releasing water or any other volatile substances typically seen in comets. As the first known interstellar object, it provided valuable insights into the nature of other planetary systems. Its peculiar shape and lack of a tail intrigued scientists, leading to various hypotheses about its composition and origins. Oumuamua's trajectory, propelled by a gravity boost from the sun, took it on a hyperbolic path away from our solar system. Although Oumuamua's true nature remains uncertain, its fleeting visit left us with more questions than answers about the fascinating world of interstellar objects. But we need to understand what this object is before Oumuamua collides with our planet, now we will look at the best theories to explain what Oumuamua is. What fascinating theories have been used to explain the wild concept of Oumuamua? There are several theories about what Oumuamua could be, each with its own set of arguments and evidence. One theory proposed by Stephen Desch and Alan Jackson from Arizona State University suggests that Oumuamua may be a lump of nitrogen ice that was blown off a Pluto-like body due to a massive impact. This theory is supported by the discovery of regions on Pluto, such as Sputnik Planitia, which are frozen nitrogen lakes. If Oumuamua was made of nitrogen ice, it would have needed an additional boost from the sun's heat to become visible. Nitrogen gives comets a more reflective appearance, and Oumuamua would have appeared pale due to its small size. Another theory put forth by Daryl Seligman from Cornell University and Jennifer Bugner from Berkeley University suggests that cosmic rays may have reacted with surface ice on Oumuamua while it was in interstellar space, releasing hydrogen gas trapped in amorphous water ice. This theory explains why Oumuamua didn't have a dust tail, as the dust would have remained trapped in the water ice. The heating from the sun would have altered the crystal structure of the ice, allowing the hydrogen to escape at a rate of 0.4 to 28 ounces per second. Astronomers A.V.I. Leb and Shmuel Biali from Harvard University propose a more unconventional theory. They suggest that Oumuamua could be an artificial solar-powered spacecraft. They base their theory on the non-gravitational acceleration observed in the object's trajectory, as well as its numerous peculiarities. According to Leb and Biali, an artificial origin would explain these observations more satisfactorily than a natural explanation. Determining the exact size and shape of Oumuamua is challenging since astronomers have not been able to obtain a detailed photograph of the object. Instead, they rely on its brightness and their understanding of the reflectivity of asteroids and comets to estimate its size. The absence of a coma or tail surrounding Oumuamua further complicates the identification of its nature. AVI Lab does not believe that the comet scenario is valid, as outgassing would have altered Oumuamua's rotation period, which has not been observed. He suggests that the apparent movement could be due to the kick that caused Oumuamua to break free from its parent object. Lebanbiali propose a novel theory that suggests the observed non-gravitational movement of Oumuamua could be caused by solar radiation pressure. They argue that if Oumuamua is only 0.3 to 0.9 mm thick, it could be a light sail, a structure that uses the kinetic energy of photons to propel itself. They point out that similar technology has already been demonstrated in orbit with missions like Icaros, Nanosail the D2, and Lightsail. According to calculations by Biali and Lub, a light sail Oumuamua could survive a long interstellar trip, potentially traveling at least 16,000 light years from its home system. However, the object's origin remains unknown. While Biali and Lub do not assert that Oumuamua is undeniably an extraterrestrial spacecraft, they consider this possibility in high regard. The discovery of Oumuamua was quite remarkable, as it was an anomaly among the objects in our solar system. If Oumuamua is indeed a random member of a larger population of similar objects, its chance discovery suggests that stars in the Milky Way eject trillions of such objects over their lifetimes. This is in contrast to our own solar system, which doesn't shed as many objects as Oumuamua. The object's motion aligns with a kinematic space called the local standard of rest, making it difficult to determine its system of origin. While we may never be able to catch up to Oumuamua using conventional chemical rockets, there is a possibility of getting a closer look at the object. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot aim to launch small robotic probes equipped with sails that can travel at high speeds towards Oumuamua and similar objects. 
By conducting a full-scale observational blitz, astronomers can gather more data and insights from such objects, which will help us be better prepared for future encounters. Umuamua's visit has sparked various theories about its nature and origin. While its true identity remains uncertain, the exploration of this interstellar object has provided valuable lessons and inspiration for further astronomical research. By studying objects like Umuamua more closely, scientists can uncover more about the mysteries of our universe. Where did Umuamua come from? Scientists are still grappling with the puzzling mystery of the strange cosmic traveler, which has ignited a multitude of questions. While its interstellar nature is undeniable, its origin remains one of the most captivating scientific mysteries of our time. Initially, experts believed that Umuamua may have hailed from Vega, a brilliantly luminous star in the constellation of Lyra. Vega, known to possess debris disks, presented a plausible source for Umuamua. If this hypothesis held true, Umuamua's odyssey to our solar system would have spanned a staggering 600,000 years. However, recent developments have challenged the Vega theory. A shift in trajectory has dispelled the notion that Umuamua originated from Vega, redirecting our focus to alternative possibilities. The range of potential options is vast, with some suggesting that Umuamua may have traversed our galaxy for billions of years, traversing a distance of over 20,000 star systems. While this time frame may appear immense, it pales in comparison to the estimated age of our galaxy, which is around 10 billion years old and harbors a staggering 200 billion stars. Astronomers speculate that Umuamua's encounter with our solar system might mark its inaugural interaction with a newfound star system, given the duration of its cosmic journey. This hypothesis gains support from its passage around the Sun at a velocity akin to neighboring stars. To investigate the origin of Umuamua, scientists have meticulously retraced its trajectory to a time before it entered our solar system. Corinne Baylor-Jones of the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy undertook the arduous task of juxtaposing Umuamua's path with the prior positions of approximately 7 million stars. By scrutinizing data from the Gaia spacecraft, which has meticulously monitored these stars, Baylor-Jones reconstructed their orbits and sought intersections or resemblances with Umuamua's trajectory. This exhaustive investigation identified for promising candidates, each exhibiting paths closely mirroring Umuamua's rewound course. While one of these candidates is believed to be Umuamua's ancestral home, definitively ascertaining its origin remains a complex challenge. During the investigation, Baylor Jones made a captivating discovery. He found that Umuamua's trajectory aligned with a region between 1 to 2 Oort cloud radii or 100,000 to 200,000 astronomical units, AU. The encounter velocities between Umuamua and each of the potential origin candidates were strikingly high, ranging from 6 to 16 miles per hour, posing a perplexing enigma for scientists. Some researchers have posited that Umuamua could be a planetesimal, a constituent expelled during the formative stages of a planet. However, Achieving such elevated ejection velocity solely through encounters with larger planets is highly improbable, though not entirely implausible. Another possibility is that Umuamua originated from a binary star system, which could account for its substantial velocity. Nevertheless, none of the four most promising origin candidates for Umuamua are binary stars, further adding to the intricacy of the puzzle. The quest to unveil Umuamua's true origin persists, with the hopeful anticipation that forthcoming Gaia data releases will furnish more insights into this cosmic enigma. Additional data from Gaia will enable astronomers to refine their quest for the celestial voyager's birthplace, offering further elucidation into the motions of neighboring stars and potentially yielding more conclusive outcomes. Moreover, the return of Umuamua would raise profound ethical and philosophical questions. Should we intervene with an object that may hold insights into the mysteries of the universe, or should we leave it undisturbed as a pristine artifact? These dilemmas would require careful consideration and international collaboration to ensure responsible and respectful exploration.